In this video, I'm gonna show you how to boost or increase FPS in Counter-Strike Global Offensive, so make sure that you watch this video till the end. Before we start, I just want to say subscribe to my channel and like this video if it helps, and let's start. So the first step is to open up Steam, and once you open it up, click on Counter-Strike Global Offensive, scroll down and find the workshop. Click on Browse the Workshop, click on View Page, and now click on Search Counter-Strike Global Offensive and type FPS, and search it up. Click on View Page again, scroll down and find the FPS Benchmark Performance Test. Click on it, click on View Page again. Scroll down and click on subscribe. Once you subscribe, what you want to do is go back and start Counter Strike Global Offensive. Once you open Counter Strike, what you want to do is click on play, click on here and select workshop maps. And here it is the FPS benchmark map. Select it and click on go. Click on go again and wait for it to load. And once it's open up, what you want to do is go to the helpful commands and just shoot at all of the recommended values. So shoot at the circles. And as you can see, they turned green. And this will basically help you increase your FPS. Once you're done shooting at them and they're all green, what you want to do is click on shoot at save. And basically that's it for this FPS benchmark performance test you can also run a test by shooting at this start button and you can see how much is your average fps once you're done with this step you can move on to the second step which is just going to the settings and you can do that by clicking on escape click on settings menu go to video settings and now what you want to do here is basically set the display mode to uh, full screen so the second one set the aspect ratio to widescreen Set the resolution to the maximum that you can, set the display mode to full screen as I said, and set the laptop power savings to disabled. After you're done in the video part, you can move on to the advanced video part. And basically what you want to do here is set the global shadow quality to high, set the model texture detail to low, set the effect detail to low, set the shader detail to low, now set the multi-core rendering to enabled and set multi-sampling and the aliasing mode to 8x MSAA. Then set the FXAA anti-aliasing to enabled. Set the texture filtering mode to anti-sotropic 16x, okay. And set the weight for vertical sync disabled and set the motion blur to disabled. Once you're done, just click on apply changes and wait for the changes to be applied. And once you're done, you can now move on to the third step. So to do that, close the game and go back to the Steam launcher. What you want to do now is right click on Counter Strike Global Offensive. Click on properties. Click on set launch options. And now paste the launch options from the description. Okay. Now what you want to do is change a couple of things and the first one is to change the number of threads so as you can see there's four here but it's different for every PC and if you want to know how many threads you have on your PC how many threads does your processor have then right click on the test bar and open the task manager go to the performance tab and see how many logical processors your processor has it's the same as threads so as you can see I have 12 so I'm gonna change the 4 to 12. Once you're done here go and find where it says insert monitor refresh rate and basically to change that you need to know what is the refresh rate for your monitors. So for me it's 120 Hz so I'm just gonna delete this with the brackets and type 1 to 0 so 120 but it's different so most of you have 60 Hz, so you need to enter 60, but if you don't know what is the refresh rate of your monitor, then just go up on Google and look it up and you'll find it. 
So let me just find it. There's one more place when where you need to change your refresh rate. Let me see. Okay, so there it is. And I'm just gonna delete insert monitors refresh rate with the brackets. And I'm gonna type 120. So they're both changed. Once you change all three of them, what you want to do is click on OK. So remember, you need to change the refresh rate, the frequency, and also the number of threads, which is in the beginning. Once you're done, click on OK, and you can now close the properties. And the third step is to close the Steam Launcher, click on the search bar, and type run, and open it up. Now type percent, temp percent, and click on OK. Now click on Ctrl plus A to select all of the files, right click on them and click on delete. Click on continue and you can just keep the files that won't be deleted. Don't worry this won't mess up your PC, these are, these are all temporary files that your computer doesn't need anymore. Once you're done you can close the temporary folder, click on the search bar and type run again, open it up and type prefetch. Click on OK again, click on continue and now just delete all of the files that are in here as well. So click on Ctrl plus A to select all of them and delete them. And you can also skip the files that aren't, won't be deleted. That's it for this video, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel and like this video if it helped. Bye.